when the mausoleum of Grant's tomb is, where Grant is buried right there. This enormous building. Flag is, we're going to find out. Okay, we're going to go downstairs now. Mausoleum is what they call this area. The his tomb, the sarcophagus, wherever. Not, not a great president, but one of our most efficient generals. That was Thomas, I'm assuming that was George Thomas. This is Ward, Henry Ward. These are all Grand Army of the Republic guys, this is Sh Sherman. These are all guys instrumental in the GAR. This is McPherson. tomb area, the mausoleum they call it, that's the inside. They have to close it. Uh, this is in a very, very bad part of town. So they can't just leave this area open. Years ago, this place was vandalized. Uh, considerable vandalism. And you can see it's, it's outside. You're in the middle of you know, what, what in Manhattan uh, serves as a ghetto. It's not as bad as some of the places I've seen in the Bronx. But I mean, those places make Beirut look like a palace or a vacation spot. Some of those places. But still in all, when the, well, when the, uh, when the sun goes down, the animals come out, suffice to say. So they have to keep that locked up but this is um they've managed to over the years minimize the the activity here on the outside so it's not as bad <laughs> it's amazing because this is right you know a couple blocks from the river and normally those type of that type of real estate is uh more or less very expensive um but not Really not here. I just came all the way from the east side, which was I was about a block away from the river there, and I thought I was in thought I was in the Bronx. I mean, it is really really bombed out. But we're gonna photograph this some more, and I don't think I really need to go into the who's and why's and everything of who Grant was. Pretty much everyone knows that. At least the school book version and they can pretty much figure out the their textbook the real version not the textbook version the real version the the real man with all the flaws oh one but that's not a, that's not a couple blocks it's right on the river i didn't know that that's interesting so we're right on the river here 
to, oh, there's a really neat church I'm going to go check out when I'm done here. After the visitor center, I'm going to check out the visitor center first. But typically, as with all men, their story is more than the sum of what can be found in a few textbooks. So, Not my favorite guy in history, but a significant guy in history. He carried Lincoln's wishes on at a time when he didn't have to. When, when politicians were calling for the opposite, he was basically in charge. He could have denied Lincoln's wishes. Lincoln had been dead for a few days. He died a few days after Lee's surrender, but he died a few weeks before Johnston's surrender, so he could have he could have been very unlenient. He could have chose to splinter the country forever. Even though we are basically splintered, it's not as bad as it could have been. But anyway, um, that aside, we are gonna go to the visitor center, see the water, check out this cool church. And uh, for now we're out.